Okay, this is Jamie Broadnax with NC Indie Scene, and I am interviewing today Ava DuVernay. Did I pronounce that correctly? Okay, great. Um, my first question to you is, tell us a little bit about the film I Will Follow. Yeah, I Will Follow is really about a woman at a crossroads. Um, the main character's name is May, and she's a makeup artist in New York City. She has a hot career and a hot boyfriend, played by Blair Underwood, and um, but then tragedy strikes in her family, and she has to... Uh, go home and take care of some things and in the process is, is struggling to kind of keep her balance and keep her identity. And so the film explores, um, you know, kind of how to maintain yourself amidst chaos, amidst personal chaos. So that's the story in a nutshell. Okay, great. And where was it shot and how long did it take for mm -hmm. production on yeah, that? Yeah, 15 days. We shot for 15 days okay. in Topanga Canyon, California. I was really interested in Topanga is a, is a basically a canyon community mm -hmm. in California. I'm from California, and usually when you see people, usually when you see black people in screen, they're not against greenery unless right. they're in the South and it's a period piece. Exactly. Um, so I was really interested in seeing contemporary black people in a canyon setting, which happens. It just hasn't really been captured on screen. So there are moments in the film where you know she's walking in the streets and it's greenery and it's that's where they live, um, which I think is. You know, a little different from kind of the way that we're used to seeing ourselves, usually in an urban setting or on the mean streets. You know? Absolutely, you know, right. Some trees and leaves in there. Okay, yeah. all right. And how did you go about casting in this film? I had an amazing casting director, Aisha Coley, who actually cast Secret Life of Bees and Akeel and the and I did a lot of work with Spike Lee, and so she, I was fortunate that she um, agreed to work with me early on. And so some of it, a lot of it was Aisha Coley auditioning and meeting. And then some were like personal relationships, like Blair Underwood's good friend, and that piece, that part was written with him in mind, with hopes that he'd come out for a couple of days and do it. So it's a mixture of relationships and standard casting. Okay, yeah. great. And what would you um, give as far as advice to independent filmmakers that want to break out into the film industry and start their own feature film? I mean, it's, it's that's a huge question. There's so many things to do. I would just say, you know, in general, you know, you have to have a passion for what you're doing. So a lot of folks, when they're thinking about their first feature, they're thinking about, okay, what will sell to the studios or what is kind of in right now or, you know, what's the of-the-moment trend. And I think, you know, the best films are those that come from, come from someone's heart. And so uh, you can tell. You know, you can tell something that's just being done to be done and something that means something to someone. The films just feel different to the audience. And mm -hmm. usually those that have some kind of connection are the most successful with audiences. Right. So, and that, and to kind of stand the test of time, I think. So I would just encourage people to kind of dig deep and, you know, bear their soul and, you know, make something that's important to them because they may not get another chance. Right. Well, thank you, Ava. I appreciate yeah, you taking sure, the time to talk sure, to NC sure. Anything today. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks again. Thanks.